Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about one more question on binary search. So name of the question as you can see is search insert position. This question is a standard question and this question is from lead code. Let's read the question. Given a sorted array of distinct integers and a target value, return the index if the target is found. If not, return the index where it would be if it was in inserted in the order. What did this means is like, for example, you have an, take, let's take this example, right? The example number two, where you have a sorted array, one, three, five, six, and the target value is two. As two is not present in the array, what they want us to do is we want, they want us to give us the index where this target could be inserted in the array such that after inserting the target value in the array, the array still needs to be in a sorted order. So for example, in one, three, five, six, if you put ta the target value 2, 2 should be the second element, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 will be then a sorted array. So the index at which this target value needs to be inserted in the array is going to be index number 1, which will be your output. If you look at the another example, which is 1, 3, 5, 6 and the target value is 5, as 5, the target value is already present in the array, we have to just return the index at which we found this target value which is index number 2 0 1 2 this is the index so as you can see from the sample inputs and outputs there are two things which are clear one is if the target value is there we just need to give the index and the index needs to be zero based index meaning that we have to start the indexing from zero. Second is if the target value is not present in the array we need to give the index at which this target value can be inserted in the array such that the resultant array still should remain sorted right so these are two things we need we know again in the question they have mentioned that we have to do this using what um, they're given the time complexity which they are looking at they want a time complexity of o of log n as you know o of log n is a logarithmic time complexity and the most famous algorithm which takes logarithmic time complexity is binary search so this is a hint for us to you know solve this question using binary search so let's see how we can you know manipulate our standard binary search algorithm to solve this question this question actually employs you know the one of the famous observation of binary search which we are going to see through an example let's take an example of an array which is sorted 13479 and let's say we want to um, you know find the target value 8 as you can see 8 is not present in the array let's try to apply a standard binary search on this array and see what we get the index are going to be 0 1 2 3 and 4 as we know low at is the first index is going to be 0 high is going to be 4 middle value can be 0 plus 4 by 2 which is 4 by 2 which is nothing but 2 so a of mid as compared to your target value right a of mid as you can see a of 2 is nothing but 4 so 4 and 8 so 4 is less than the target value if a of mid is less than the target value we are going to go and search in the this half of your array right so what changes here is your low becomes equal to mid plus 1 right mid, mid is nothing but 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so now we have low equal to so this is one iteration right low equal to 3 and high is going to be Yes. Now let's move on. Let's try to find out the middle value here. Middle is going to be 3 plus 4 by 2, which is nothing but 7 by 2, which is equal to 3. Okay. So 2, 3s are 6. So this is 3. So what is 3? What is A of mid, which is your 3 at third index? We have number 7. So let's compare 7 and a target value, which is 8. 7 and 8, if you see, what is the uh, relation? 7 is less than the target value. If that's the case, what we need to do again, your low is equal to mid plus 1, right? So if low is mid plus 1, initially low value uh, was 3, now mid is equal to 3. So mid plus 1 is nothing but 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. High is also equal to 4, correct? If I have to find a mid of this, obviously it's going to be equal to 4 itself. Why? Because 4 plus 4 by 2, which is nothing but 8 by 2, which is nothing but 4, correct? So what is A of 4? A of 4 is 9. What is the relation between the middle value and the target value? 9 is greater than 8. In this case, what we do in a standard binary search, high is equal to mid minus 1. The value of 
uh, your high is currently 4, mid minus 1 is 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. So what we are looking at is low equal to 4 and high is pointing to 3. Now, this is going to, this is where our binary search, standard binary search is going to stop. Why? Because the condition low less than or equal to high is not satisfied by these values. Correct? And we are going to usually we halt the binary search and we return minus one outside the while loop. I hope you remember. If not, you can check out my video about the standard binary search. Okay. So what we're getting here is after you finish this, this is where you, your binary search is going to stop. Now let's look at these values and let's revisit the array. So the array we were started with is 1, 3, 4, 7, 9. So let's write here 1, 3, 4, 7, 9. Let's write the, you know, uh, what is it? What the indices which we can have is, is index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The target value which we were looking at is basically 8, correct? After the binary search is over, right, your low is pointing to index number 4. Can you see this? Low is pointing to index number 4. Think about this. If you had to insert the target value in this sorted array, how would your array, uh, you know, change? Array would become 1, 3, 4, 7. After 7, we would have 8 and 9. Why? Because we want to maintain the sorted uh, sequence of the array. Indices would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? 8 would be inserted at index number 4, correct? And if you see somehow your low value after the binary search is over, the low index, right? The low variable is also having the value 4. Can you see this? Yes. So this is what actually happens in a standard binary search. You know, you do not have to do anything. This is one of the observation of a binary search algorithm. In the standard binary search algorithm, the if you are if the target value is present in your array, so obviously you are going to return from mid, right? Wherever your condition, your the middle value is equal to the target value, you return the index, right? Which is the index uh, in which mid value is stored, right? If the target value is not present and if you finish your binary search, right, the while loop is over where this condition is no more met. What we do is after that, whatever where the low index is pointing to is low index is actually pointing to that index where the target value should be inserted in the array such that the array resultant array is in a sorted format. Right. So the answer to our lead code questions we were looking at. Yeah, this one search insert position would be a standard binary search algorithm. As you can see here, the only difference is here instead of returning minus one, which we usually do to say that we do not find, we have not found the element, we are going to return the value low. As we saw on the whiteboard, that low is going to store the index where this target value needs to be inserted. If this target value is already present in the array, as usual, whenever this condition is met, A of mid is equal to equal to target, you can simply return mid. Now the standard binary search has a time complexity of O of log n. I have used the iterative version. So space complexity is also constant, which is O of 1. So the entire solution has been possible in O of log n time complexity. Hope this helps. Let's look at one function, you know, which has been provided by Java that is called as arrays.binary search. Like similar to your arrays.sort, Java provides us some standard functions, uh, you know, which which actually has the implementation of binary search in log of n time. And that is binary search. Here you have to, as you can see on the screen, you basically need to provide your this function with an array of, you know, integers. Like we, if you want to sort your integer, I mean, you want to f uh, find some target, you know, in your integer array and the target value which you're looking at. So, and this is going to, you know, give you an index, which is again, zero based, right? So whenever you have a need, like in this question, which we just saw where you just want to use a standard binary search and not write the entire code but simply can use this function straightforward right one uh, interesting thing about this function is that if a particular element which you're trying to search okay if it is not present in the array uh, this function is going to return you an index which is negative but more importantly returns in this particular format it returns in the format of minus insertion point minus one now, what is insertion point? The insertion point is basically, again, which we spoke about is the point, the index at which this target element would be present if I had to insert that target value in my sorted array. Like, for example, if I have an array like this, which is sorted 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, and I wanted to, like we took the same example right on the whiteboard. And if I wanted to, you know, insert the number 8, which is my target value in this uh, sorted array, 8 would be actually inserted at index number 
4 which is after 7 there would be an 8 here right so this particular um, if you use arrays dot binary search and you know send uh, the element you know your target value as 8 what it is going to do is it is going to send you an index of minus 4 4 is where actually the 8 should have been inserted in your um, sorted array and minus 1 so basically 4 becomes insertion point so minus insertion point minus 1 which is equal to minus 5 so this array's dot binary search is going to then you know send you back minus 5 now as you know that whenever an element is not found you know this function array's dot binary search is going to return a negative value secondly there is a standard in which it's going to uh, you know return like it's a formula in, you know which it follows using this formula you can definitely find out the insertion point right for example if i because it's minus insertion point minus one if i want to actually find out the index at which i should be inserting this element in my sorted array would be minus whatever index it's returned like for example minus of minus five plus like basically minus of minus five plus one which is going to give you basically four right let's run this i've actually I have already you know ran and got the output here you can see eight can be inserted at index number four here you can see two uh, you know lines saying the same thing and the reason is what i've done is you know i have also also you know written the function search insert which is taking the standard binary search right which we just saw in a lead code uh, solution so this is the code which i have written using standard binary search and returned low right whatever function whatever value the search insert does is the same value which i can obtain using simple one like just two lines of code like calling you know standard arrays dot binary search and then applying this uh you know addition of one that's all right so you, you can keep that in mind whenever you have standard binary search uh, examples in you not need to write the entire code you can simply use arrays dot binary search similarly if you have a collection and you want to and it's sorted and you want to you know search in that collection again you similar like arrays dot binary search you also have collections dot binary search which also functions in the similar manner hope this helps uh, keep practicing and subscribe to my channel bye